All right, everyone, many people have asked me to weigh in on this, and I've, you know, alluded to it before, but finally I'm like, well, you know, enough people apparently have interest, I should make a dedicated video on the subject, the National Popular Vote Interstate Compact. Now, what this is, is that a group of states have gotten together, mostly blue states, although I think Colorado has joined them, I think there's like one red state among them. A bunch of states have joined together to create a compact, and what the, what the intent is, is that if enough states joined them, they would attempt to make this actually occur, which is that they would turn our republic into a direct democracy and begin allocating electoral points, uh, electors, based on the national popular vote. So like in 2016, and this is why a bunch of blue states decided this was a good idea, in part, uh, although I believe that the idea had floated around for a while, they, they began mobilizing more. In 2016, Donald Trump won the election. He did not win the popular vote. The reason for that is because of high voter turnout in urban areas, especially in California and New York, at abnormal levels. Uh, and, and this has happened a few times before in our nation's history, where the person who wins in the Electoral College did not win the popular vote. The reason for this is that the original intent of the United States was as a, as a, a sort of federation of semi-sovereign entities. What you call states are literally, it's literally statehood in the nation-state sense. Texas is a state, Vermont is a state, and so forth. Uh, you know, all of these different states. They were meant to have, generally speaking, more or less autonomy. They had come together as a collective for certain other purposes, for military purposes, for trade, making currency, and so forth. They had bound themselves together under a constitution and operated as a whole, but they also maintained the idea that, that it was a republic comprised of, of semi-sovereign nations, so to speak. The United States is not a democracy. The reason there is an electoral college is specifically to allow people in areas that are very rural to gain representation and also to allow states to be represented. A lot of the early uh, sort of conflicts that we had, like North and South, like slavery, the two-thirds compromise and shit like that, uh, state sovereignty was central in some of these issues. And it's still a problem today. If you had an, uh, this compact pass or something, what you would essentially be saying is that the group of Americans that live in small town America do not matter. There'd be no reason to go campaign to them. Um, there's no, there'd be no reason to care about rural areas. What you would end up is that certain industries, certain people in this country would get fucked in the ass, and certain others would be favored. People would literally begin voting themselves more of other people's money, even more than they already do through socialist, uh, socialist policies. And you would see the collapse of the United States. It would be a degradation away from a republic. Uh, so I would absolutely oppose this. Now, thankfully, in order for this to happen, you would need a very large proportion of states to sign on to such a thing. It is not, as far as I know, possible that that is going to happen. There's never, demographically, there's never really been a situation in the United States where enough states were steeled in their resolve to do something like that. Because what will happen is, like, like let's say that the, the Democrats right now are the ones mainly pushing this, people on the left. That means that none of the red states really would want such a thing. They would hate the idea. What if it switches? What if what if all of a sudden, you know, red states were to start to sign on? The reason they'd be doing that is because the situation in the United States politically had shifted, and then you'd probably see the blue states jumping back off. So getting to that supermajority of states to support such a uh, proposal, to amend the Constitution to allow such a situation to occur, the odds are simply not there no matter how much social alienation you have. And the other thing is, specifically this kind of thing is what our system helps to restrain against in the first place. It is some people, they, they say, well, government is inefficient and slow. Yes, but part of that is by design. Part of it is to slow people down to keep them from shooting themselves in their foot, literally speaking. Um, it's a terrible proposal. It'll probably never be implemented, which is a good thing. Um, and so it's, it basically remains a pet project. And the other thing is, of course, if you're in a blue state and your constituents are pressuring you to front such a, such a thing, you're going to talk about it and say, yeah, you support it anyway. If you're a state-level politician, yeah, yeah, I support the, I support the compact. Yeah, it's a great idea. Of course, my constituents, of course, my 80% Democratic constituents... I absolutely support the idea of deconverting uh, the United States back into a direct democracy so that we can take a thousand year step back in history and, you know, screw ourselves. Of course, I agree with you 100%. I'm just as dumb as you are. No, they're not. They wouldn't actually seriously propose it if they thought there was any possibility of it taking hold. 
And so it remains just a bad idea and the pipe dream of a bunch of bullshitters that, you know, still think the United States is a democracy. It's very funny to hear people praise democracy. Democracy is not a virtue. Democracy is just the authoritarian uh, mentality of the masses. It's basically all it is. Authoritarianism can be democratic in nature. You can have a system that's run in that supposedly very hands-off, like, in a non-centralized manner, and yet be completely brutal. You know, back, oh, oh, ancient Athens, ancient Greece, wonderful times, oh, democracy, yeah, and they also exiled people randomly. They also uh, killed people quite regularly. They also uh, enslaved people quite regularly. Wonderfully enlightened. Republics are better. That's about all. Peace out.